What was it like shooting those scenes inside the airplane that essentially recreate things that were among the very first things that you ever shot on the show? It was a challenge because I, I had to really sort of figure out how this guy could be in this place, what was haunting him about something that he had forgotten that he couldn't remember, and little moments like that, at the same time making it feel like he's really in this time and really in these moments. I almost got a weird vibe that, you know, clearly we're presented with a different reality, but is there something wrong with this reality? Is there right. something kind of new and unstable about this reality? And maybe Desmond is proof of that. Samir, do you mind if I stay here? It's just the fellow next to me has been snoring ever since we took off from Sydney. He's there, he's not there. Excuse me, do you know what happened to the guy that was sitting next to me? And same thing with that bit of business with Jack right. in the bathroom and he looks at that nick. Where did that come from? I'm wondering, is this a world that we can really trust? I always thought that if there were to be a reboot, that their lives would change how their lives would have been after the crash. But now we're seeing all these little changes where their lives were different before the crash. I'm the luckiest guy alive. What were the events that changed their lives? Why are they not proceeding exactly the same up until the moment of the crash? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It would be easy to toss it off and just say, oh, it's a what if world. I wonder if they're really going there in this final season, that this is the reality that we've been building to. And now all those past five seasons, that's this sort of hyper or parallel universe. I now am wondering if the castaways are gonna be building to realizing their destiny, which is this new reality. Just let me go, what? I'll be all right. If you ever want a consult, just uh, give me a call. It's on the house. I really liked the Jack and Locke scene that at the airport. That was amazing. Yeah. It's nice to meet you, John. Enemies on the island, maybe a new friendship here. Right. Nothing's irreversible. My condition is irreversible. Nothing's irreversible. So maybe he can help Locke? I love that idea. One of the things about people used to talk about Lost were for several seasons. They never ask each other like the basic questions, right? right? They never ask the basic questions about who were you in the off-island world or whatever, and then right off the bat. Mind if I ask what happened to you? What I was really moved by was that they each said something to each other that gave each other hope. They didn't lose your father. They just lost his body. He could have asked other questions, though, too, like, what is the smoke monster? Just get right to it. It's nanobots. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was. I was yeah, pretty sure. Yeah. Said, yeah. Yeah. My big question for you then, bottom line, is flash sideways. Are you intrigued by this or are you confused by this? I am 67% intrigued, 24% confused, and 9% other. I think that I'm 95% intrigued. The 5% okay. I'm holding out on is if they want me to care equally about both worlds, that is going to be a little challenging because my heart belongs to the island world. I, You're such I, a gooey romantic. I know, I know. So that's what I want the next couple episodes to do. Make me care about the sideways world.